Ann Derbutner. Nancy Clayton. Accepting for Sister Jean Dwyer, Dwyer Sister Patricia McCarthy. Joan Ermer. Amy Freeman. Sylvia Garska. Marianne Geronimo. Marie Grassi. Ted Chensing. Sherry Marceau. <laughs> Sister Mary McCarthy. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce our sculptress, Helene Johnson. Helene was born and raised in Illinois and studied the fine arts in Colorado. She received a Bachelor of Science from Colorado State University and a Master of Fine Arts from the University of Colorado. Helene also studied at the Lyme Academy, where she was an instructor for, four, for five years. Helene and her husband decided to settle down and raise their family in Connecticut. It was at that time, 25 years ago, that she began her figurative sculpture work. Her desire to learn more about sculpture took her to such places as Pietranta Santa, Italy, where she studied marble carving under Jill Berkey and Jan Carlo Biaghi. Helene has been selected for many jury exhibitions and received numerous national awards. She has done several commissioned sculpture pieces that can be seen throughout Connecticut. Helene's interest lies in the nature of the human condition 
the drama that is life, and all the many possibilities that may encompass for the expression of her work. You will be amazed at the level of detail and perfectionism of her work. Helene is truly an amazing artist and sculptress. I thank Marilyn Scobie for discovering Helene in a copy of Ink Magazine. I met with Helene shortly thereafter. Then she attended a performance of an afternoon with Catherine McCauley, and the rest is history. For months, a mannequin dressed in the habit was in Helene's studio in Chester, the habit having been carefully arranged and the pleats in the veil perfect, thanks to Sister Peggy O'Neill, who remembered every detail. <laughs> the Mercy students who model for the students standing next to Catherine are with us today. Thank you, Jennifer Carter and Mallory Perry, for doing that. Both young women are preparing to lead lives of service and compassion as nurses. We are thrilled that Helene joins us today for the dedication of the statue. Her exceptional sculpture of Catherine with two Mercy students captures, I believe, the spirit of the first woman of mercy and will serve as inspiration for generations to come. I would like to invite Helene to share with us now what this work meant to her. Helene. First of all, I, I don't have my magnifier, so bear with me here, my magnifying glasses. Sister Mary has asked me to say a few words about my experience doing the statue for Mercy High School and what it meant for me to do it as an artist and a sculptor. Doing the statue was an all-encompassing experience, as well as a great opportunity for me. As you can imagine, the challenge of working in life size was huge. Uh, but also very exciting. I realize now that the statue is completed, that the challenges I faced were not so unlike the many challenges that Catherine McCauley faced in her quest to build and manage an institution that would house and educate impoverished women. In order to conceive and do the statue, I was honored to read and learn more about this remarkable woman of her time. At just 36 years old, she signed an agreement with an architect to build the large house on Baggett Street in Dublin, Ireland, that would soon become the home of the Sisters of Mercy. When I think about her life, I am truly impressed with her resolve, dedication, and her great love of the less fortunate. She was not only a woman way ahead of her times, but she was brave and daring at a time when women's fate depended on who, who, whom they would marry and their station in life. She was a modern woman, and God gave her great energy and vitality so that she could ac accomplish great things. There is no known photographs of Catherine, but there are some verbal descriptions as well as images of her that are familiar to those who knew of her life. I used all of these tools when creating the face of Catherine. It was important for me to express her kindness, compassion, intelligence, and as I worked on her face, it seemed to turn almost angelic. Let me say it has been a great pleasure working with Sister Mary to bring about the vision of an idea she has held for so many years. She wanted a statue for Mercy High School depicting Catherine with two contemporary Mercy High students. In the statue, Catherine has just imparted some message of wisdom to both of the girls. They listen intently and slowly begin to digest what she has shared with them. The message, the message of wisdom bridges the past to the future, to the present, and will endure far into the future. The message of love and compassion for your fellow human beings. And that through God all things are indeed possible with a humble and open heart. If I may, I would like to acknowledge and thank 
all of my family and friends who are here with me today that have supported me in my work, and especially my dear husband and my lovely mother, Helen. Jeremy Davis, I would also like to uh, credit my mold maker, Jeremy Davis, for his support and his good work throughout this project. And lastly, I want to thank you, Sister Mary, for the opportunity to do this work for your wonderful school. Thank you very much.